What's up you guys? So we're going to go through the entire day right now. Let's get right into it. In the morning, phone call after phone call after phone call after phone call after phone call, never ended. But finally got through my phone calls. I had to go drop off some stuff for a contractor. I had to go to a listing. Actually, we missed this on the vlog, but one of my listings, the alarm went off and the police came and so I had to deal with that. I had some showings this morning, about five showings. And then we started the video and that's where you guys come in. So let's go into that now. Today, we are taking a look at a Signal Hill home that's on the market for $900,000. It's listed by Kyle Dexter and Rachel Starnes with Coldwell Banker. It's a really sick house, all renovated. So thank you guys for letting us do this video. Let's go take a look. What does 2,224 square feet get you in Signal Hill? Let's take a look. So obviously this is completely renovated the entire house. What I love about this kitchen is you have the waterfall counters. I personally think that looks sick. Of course it's modern, so all stainless steel appliances, more waterfall counters here. And what's kind of unique about this one is it's almost like you have two islands. It's a lot of counter space. Overall kitchen, nine out of 10. Going upstairs, um, I think you guys will like it. <laughs> This is a really unique room. I haven't seen this really ever before. What do kids dream of? Castles, living in a castle. What can you do for your kid? You can buy them the next best thing. A house that kind of looks like a castle where they've painted everything. You have the vaulted ceilings, which is super cool. Makes it feel more open, but also kind of cozy. You have your little study areas where you can uh, make your kids do their homework. So this space is great um, if you have two boys, two girls, and you can also use it as a bedroom for kids while they're growing up. Okay guys, so this way over to the master bedroom. And one thing, I actually love this roof. So you've got the clay uh, tile roofing. And the good thing about that is it lasts forever. They last like a hundred years. They're very low maintenance. This has a long lifespan. Um, and that's also why like, and like salty, I regret using that word, but in climates where it's salty. <laughs> now going into the master bedroom, it's very spacious. You could easily fit a king bed here. Um, you have your walk-in closet, ta-da. <laughs> and then you also have the and sweet bathroom. And if this isn't a hardcore shower, then I don't know what is. Look at all of these different sprayer things. Okay, so this segment we're calling Price is Right, where you have to guess how much stuff costs, okay? So this chair, how much do you think it is? $500? thousand dollars three thousand well if you guessed fifteen thousand five hundred dollars you are correct now look, let's go on to the next one probably didn't do too good on that one so this couch how much do you think this nice little couch costs five thousand ten thousand if you guessed wait wait for okay comment down below what do you think it costs it costs twenty five thousand $500. See, that's a down payment on an apartment right there. <laughs> so I'd love to put something like this in my house. Like that'd actually be sick. Like I'd just be, you know, drinking coffee right next to my trees, randomly going up into like another part of my house. Anyways, weird tangent, let's go. <laughs> Where you are today is a direct result of your standards in everyday life. Are you the type of person that wakes up at six in the morning to go to the gym? You just have to know where you want to be in five years, 10 years, 20 years from now, and build a roadmap on how to execute on becoming that person. How else are you supposed to grow as a person if you're not pushing your comfort level, you're not trying new things? First, you have to believe in you. You have to believe that you really are that person. Anything you do, every decision you make in the day, make sure it's reaffirming who you want to be, that identity that you've thought out for yourself. If the decision does not align with the values of that person, don't do it. Because it's gonna sacrifice what you're trying to become, what you're trying to accomplish. I'm executing at a level that I wasn't last year. So as long as you're having growth, that's what matters. Think with the end in mind. That's from the book, 
The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen Covey. But that is the truest thing. Like, how are you supposed to land somewhere or achieve something if you don't know what the end result should be and why you want it? Come on, people, let's go.